Hello, good day. Today I'm going to be showing you how to design using Study Pro. Design using Study Pro, a 6x6 six six, uh, six, uh, meter slab that is supported by four beams. Then the beams are supported in the ground. Okay, let me go and explain as we go. The first thing you select space here. Then you select meters because I'm going to be using meters and kilonewtons and click on next. I'm going to overwrite since I have already named something or uh, the same name. Okay, now I'm going to select add beams and finish. Okay, now this is the grid that we're going to start with. So I'm going to be, let me, let me close this one. Let me start with, it's very simple to start. Okay here where it reads set start set up that is where the job okay let me say this uh, example okay then the client is going to be maybe philip ganyani that happens to be me okay the job is zero one I'm not revising anything. The engineer is going to be Philip Ganyan. I'm going to check it. So Philip Ganyan. Okay. Then the date. You write a date here. I'm going to just copy this one, which is today, and edit here. Okay. This is where you put the engineer that is going to approve and the date where it is going to be approved. Then, once I'm done with that, I'm going to go to geometry. Okay. Let me close this piece. I'm just going to add a node at zero. You click, you click on this box and say zero. It's zero zero, and the node is the one you can see here. You click on nodes. You have the node here. I'm going to be, I'm going to make it six by six. Okay. So I'm going to say Control C to copy, then Control V to paste the node. I want it to be in the x direction and six meters. So I'm going to type six, and then OK. Now I have two nodes like that. As you can see, this is my node number one here and node number two here. Okay, now I'm going to use what is called a transitional repeat. I'm going to click on that transitional repeat. Okay, when I'm done, I want it to be, let's say, three meters above ground in the Z direction, in the Y direction. Okay, Y, that means going upwards. Uh, I want it to be linked. Uh, okay let me click ok as you can see it's now a line they are called beams okay let me click on add beam here i'm going to add a beam from this node to that node okay i'm going to repeat i'm going to do a transitional repeat for this beam you select the beam you click on the transitional repeat okay i want this to be five meters so i'll type five there i want it to go in the z direction i'll click on z here i'm going to link and click ok Okay, as you can see right if i click on the on this little icon it measures distance between nodes from here to here it's three meters okay let me close you click on this one to remove all all the no all the selection okay i'm going to click on the node selection i'm going to select this one hold control select the other one i'm going to use transitional repeat i want it to be in the y direction i want it to be minus three okay i'm going to link and click okay right i think you can see the thing that i'm talking about if you click on this one you'll see it's a frame right. okay let me add a few more things to this frame i'm going to add um what are called um i said all the members all the linear all the members are regarded as beams and some are regarded as plates those that regard as slabs are entered into this software as plates okay so if we click uh, we are on geometry so we are adding geometry now we are going to we are going to go to general under general this is where we give the definition or the section sizes so i'm going to click on definition i'm going to click on rectangular then 0 0.23 and 0 0.23 for the columns i'm going to add the columns then 0 
Okay, sorry about that guys, let me continue. Okay, here I have just added what is called, um, it is regarded as a rectangular beam, which is 230 millimeter, which is 230 millimeters by 230. Now I'm going to go for the other thing, which is going to be my beams. Let me just make them 500, so it's going to be 0.5 meters. Okay, let me, I've added these two. Now, what I would want to do is to select this one. Then I will click on the select, select, I will select beams, beams parallel to Y. As you can see, I selected the beams parallel to Y. I'm going to assign this property to that particular, to this selected beams, which is which I'm going to be using as my column. Okay, and I will read. Okay, now it's done. Now I will deselect. I will then click on the select, select beams parallel to X, then select beams. Okay, let me first of all select here. Select beams parallel to X, select beams parallel to Z. Okay, I've selected these. I want to make them my beams. So I'm going to assign to selected beams, assign yes. Now I want to add a slab. In this case, it's going to be called a plate. I'm going to add a four nodal plate. I'll click on this point, on that point, on that point, and on that point. Now it's a four nodal plate. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, click on the thickness so that I assign a thickness to this, which is going to be 0 0.2 in this case. Okay, I'm going to assign to view since there's only one plate. Assign yes. Okay, now that I'm done, let me show you the model. If you click on this button, you see this is the plate. Okay, let me deselect. Let me show you everything. I'll click on this one. As you can see, this is the thing that we are going to. I'm just clicking OK so that it saves. Okay, this is the thing that we want to design. Now that we are done, we're going to click on OK and then let's go on with the design now i'm going to go to analysis i'm going to click on uh, okay let me close before i go to analysis on general here i'm going to go to to support i'm going to create a support a fixed support and add that fixed support i'm going to click on this one so that i face on one side i'm going to select one node i'm going to select this node then i'll go back to isometric these are where my supports are okay let me redo that. Select and select my nodes. I click on isometric. This away. These are the points where I want to add my support. I'm going to click assign. To sub, assign a support to selected nodes. Then yes. Now I have my support. Okay. I think we are done. Let me go to my sla to my loading. When it comes to loading, I'm going to create a load case detail. I'm going to add a load case detail. I'm going to add what is called a dead load. I will mark it D L for dead load. I'm going to add. I'm going to go for live load. I'm going to add it is live load. Add close. Okay. Let me uh, add a dead load. So I'll select on dead load. I'm going to add what is called um, a plate load. As I told you in the past, I said a slab is a plate. Okay. Let me say that the load is a minus, uh, let's say minus 3. Okay. I'm going to say global Y. I'm going to add. Okay. That is my dead load. I'm going to go to member load. These are going to be the load that are coming from the, the walls. Let's assume that they are walls built on, on top of every beam. So it's going to be about minus 15. I have. I have a tutorial that I have done in the past that is showing you about the loads. It is pinned somewhere here. Okay. Let me click on add. Okay. Let me close. Now let me add a live load. Add. Okay. Live load. I'm going to add what is called a pet load. Let me say it's minus 1,5. I've also explained all about this. I'm going to add. Let me just change it to this one. Add okay, close. I'm going to delete this one. Delete. Okay. This one I want to assign it to. Since it's a plate load, I'm going to assign it to view assign. Yes. Okay. As you can see, my plate load has been added. I'm going to assign this to these four beams. So I'm going to 
and I click on this so that I select beams, I select all the beams, then I press on the control and deselect some of the beams like this one. I'm going to deselect the nodes. Okay, okay. I'm going to deselect and delete the beams. I'm going to assign that to the selected beams. Assign yes. Okay. As you can, as you can see, the node has been added. Now I'm going to go to my plate. I'm going to add my plate load. I'm going to assign it to view. Assign yes. Okay. As you can see, it has been added. Now I'm going to do what are called load combinations. I'm going to add those. I'll go to automatic load combination, select on the beams. Then I'm going to use BS8110. I'm going to generate. I'm going to add. Okay. Now I'm done. As you can see, the load has been added. Now, the next thing is to go to analysis. Then I will click on no print and add. Close. Then click on analyze, run analysis. And do the analysis. Let's see if there are no errors. Yes. There are no errors. I'm going to go to uh, post processing. I click on OK. OK. Let me just select these two. Uh, OK. Let me just select the, the combinations. These two. I'll deselect that one. I'll deselect that one. And click on OK. Right. Now I'm going to check on the deflections. I click on the deflection. Hold down the control and on. Uh, rotate the wheel of the mouse. I'm going to scroll so that you see the deflection. As you can see, this is how it's going to deflect, which is uh, something that you should know of yet how it's going to deflect. I'm going to deselect this one. I'm going to click on the moments. As you can see, these are going. This is going to be my moment diagram. Those who I've also have another tutorial that I've done. It is linked somewhere here. Okay. Now that I'm done with the moments. You can view the values if you like. Uh, you click on value, then you click on views, then maximum, maybe midpoint, and uh, end point, annotate, yes, or close. Okay, these are the values that you get if you do your analysis. Okay, I think we are done. Let me go back to my model. I'm going to go for the design, so I'll click on design. Then from there, I'm going to click on uh, select. I'm going to okay. I have to click on concrete first. Then for this example, I'm going to be using CP65, which is the closest to the BS that we use BS8110 that we have in this country. Okay, I'm going to click on select. I'm going to deselect everything. I only select the things that I want to change. Clearance is actually the concrete cover. FC is what we call FCU, which is the compressive strength of concrete. Then this is actually the main reinforcement. Then this is the secondary reinforcement. I'll click on OK. I'll select on Define. Then here, when it said clearance, it's actually the concrete cover, which is 0. 0. 0. So, uh, Let me just 0. 0.025. Okay, I'm going to add that one. I'm going to go to the concrete strength. Let me say 25,000. I'm going to add that one. I'm going to and change this to 460 is because I want to change this to kilonewtons per square meter. I'm going to add that one. I'm going to change this one to 2500. Then I'll add it by multiply by 1008. I think I'm done. Okay. Now I'm going to assign all this. I'm going to select this. Assign to view. Assign. Yes. I'm going to select this. Assign to view. Assign. Yes. I want to select this, assign to view, assign, yes, I want to select this, I'm going to select this, I'm going to assign it to view, assign to view, assign, assign, yes, okay, now I'm going to click on the, on the design, I'm going to design beams, I'm going to add the beams, I'm going to add the columns, let me not design the slab for now, okay, I'll deselect, I'll select on beams, I'll then uh, hold down the control, select the beams that I want to design, which happens to be this one. Assign to select the beams, assign yes. Okay. Now I want to select the columns, I'm going to select holding down the control. I'm going to uh, click on columns. Okay, sorry about that. Select the columns. Then I'm going to assign to selected beams, assign yes. Okay. Now I am done with the design. So I'm going to run my analysis. Now I'm going to click on all and add. Then I will close. 
then I'll run my analysis like this. I'll click on uh, save before it starts the analysis. Now it's running the analysis. It's done in a matter of seconds. It's actually done. I'll click on OK. Okay. If I want to check the beam, I'll click, double click on the beam. I'll click here on concrete design. Okay. This is the reinforcement. You have three wide, three 12 millimeter bars. Okay. If you check from your your BS or from your your tables, you will find out that this is only two y16 bars i think uh, i'm done for today thank you like subscribe and share